and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm riding in the rain as you can see but the rain has certainly slowed down to what it was just minutes ago it was coming down like gangbusters it was like right across the road lots of water running down but now It has subsided. I'm going to adjust this camera just a hair here. Try that. So on this video, I'm not going to talk about the rain. I'm going to talk about a bike that's caught my eye here that's uh, available right now on pre-order be shipping in uh, October at some point. I don't know when in October, I just know that it's shipping in October or expected to. And it's from a, a, a company called Happy Run, Happy Run Sports. And it's a name that's been out there for a while. They've got several uh, bikes. But this is the first time, what's caught my eye, is this is the first time they're venturing into the 72 volt world. Yeah, they got a, a bike coming out. Uh, like I say, it's on pre-order now, as the squirrel goes running by over there. Um, it is the G100 Pro. And they call it the Road Monster. And I'm going to give you a rundown on uh, some of the specs that I know on the bike. I don't know, there's some things I don't know. I was reaching out, talking uh, back and forth with Happy Run by text earlier in the day, and uh, very early in the day. And um, I had a couple more questions that I went back for answers and uh, I didn't get a response right away, but they are pretty good at answering you fairly quickly. But so uh, there's a couple of things that I was left hanging on with I don't know anything about the brakes on the bike unfortunately so I can't tell you about those and there was something else I wanted to find out but I the brakes were the main thing and there was one other but I'll, I'll let you know what I know about this bike uh, so first of all it's a 72 volt as I mentioned and I like the fact that some of these bike companies now are getting into 72 volt and they're a little more affordable and you're going to find out in a little bit because I'm going to tell you the price of this bike uh, what you can get it for so the bike is a mo motorcycle or uh, style of bike if you want to call it like much like the bike I'm riding right now the Lyric Graffiti so if you like this style of bike scrambler Style, you'll like this bike I'm, I'm pretty sure so it's 72 volt the motors are 3,000 watt it looks to me like it's a direct drive motor uh, the, the motor peaks at 4,000 watts so it's 3,000 and peaks at 4,000 I do not know the controller what kind of controller or anything like that the battery so the battery has a two battery setup so one's going to go right here in front of your seat much much like a gas tank it looks like a gas tank sitting there and that's a 20 amp hour and then there's one that's going to sit on the down tube same as where this battery is here on this bike if you can see it I'll just aim the camera down like that and that's an 18 amp hour giving you 38 amp hour so quite a bit of uh, battery right there 38 amp hour and the top speed they're saying 50 miles an hour the bike will do and that's plenty of speed they've got and I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check it out uh, but they've got a on their site there they show you five classes it says for speed class levels 
So they have a class one, two, three, four. Obviously, there's no real four and five, but uh, they list them as to how fast the bike goes according to these class. And the highest one is class uh, five, which is uh, 50 miles per hour. So anyway, with that battery set up of 38 amp hour, it claims to have a uh, range of 85 plus miles. I can tell you for a fact it's not going to do 85 plus miles unless you're pedaling that thing on the lowest pedal assist level, which I don't think you're going to do. Uh, then you might get the 85 plus uh, miles. You're looking at more like maybe 45 miles, which is still pretty darn good. You might get that, 40, 45. Uh, the tires are 20 by 4 inch flat tires. The bike has a full suspension. Don't know much about it other than it says full suspension. It does have fenders. It has a brake light, tail light, uh, headlight, and it looks to me like it has signal lights as well. It does also have a back rack, rear rack, which is cool. Uh, a lot of times they'll uh, you have to buy that separate so that's pretty cool that they uh, include that uh, I'm trying to think what else the bike has I have a slip of paper in my back pocket so in just a moment I'll probably before I end the video I'll tell you a few more things that I may have missed. Um, oh, I know one. The weight of the bike, including the batteries. Um, they told me it weighs 100, that was one of my questions, uh, 158 pounds. So this bike is a heavy uh, dude. So if you uh, don't mind the, uh, the weight, then this bike will be for you, but maybe you don't like or want a bike that heavy, which is understandable, that's fine, then uh, this bike may not be for you. That wouldn't deter me from the bike. I think having a bit of weight actually might make the bike ride a little more uh, smoother. I don't know. It won't be so uh, light on, you know, light uh, bouncing around or anything like that. It'll be more stable on the road. Uh, let me think, what else? Maybe I'll just pull over in a second up here. And, and then I'm going to give you the price in just a few minutes. Yeah, I'm just going to get by this stop sign and I'm going to grab my paper out of my back pocket and see. Because I wrote a few things down in case I forget. So let me... Uh, check and see my specs here uh, free delivery I didn't mention that the seat height 32 inches uh, that's you know that's pretty much it the load capacity is 400 pounds that's the other one I didn't mention so the bike is listed at $29.99, but if you buy it now on pre-order, it's on sale for $25.99, so $400 off. This is crazy. And then if you uh, hit my link there, I have an affiliate link, and if you hit that link and go to their site, and if you go through the checkout, and in the discount code, if you use the word welcome, You'll save another $129, which will get you down to $2469. That's just crazy. $2469 for a 3000 watt motor, uh, 72 volt, 50 mile per hour bike for 38 amp hour of battery. That is a very good deal. 
the thing that, like I said, I don't know the quality of the parts. I don't know what they're using. But uh, if they're anything decent at all, that is a hot deal, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't know. Who could match that? You know, you look at some of the other options like uh, maybe goat. You know, goat power bikes now they, their bikes come in a little cheaper too, but they're only 60 volt and uh, if you're gonna uh, want the more battery you got to buy the extra battery i don't think they come with fuel batteries you can purchase the extra battery though so this might be a deal for uh, for you out there and you know if the shipping is in october estimated and they come out in october that's not that long to wait yeah this bike is very intriguing to me i I suspect they're going to sell this one out pretty quick, but we'll see. I will leave a link, as I mentioned, in the, descri in the uh, description. Happy Run. And it's the G100 Pro. So check out this bike and let me know what you think in the comments below. And that's going to do it for this video. I wanted to get out here and let you know about this bike as soon as I found out about it today. I thought, oh, I got to let my, my viewers know about this because I think this is a pretty good deal. A very good deal. It's a hot deal. And if you, if you differ, beg to differ about this, uh, let me know in the comments why you don't think this is such a hot deal. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video that you've seen on the channel, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this uh, ride. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.